Hey guys, Nixic here, here to give you an update. What's happening in Fight Night for a while? Since no videos are being posted in Fight Night. Darn video editors. Anywho, I'm going to give you an update between Revolution through Winter Bomb. That was a pay per view in September in November, through November. MPK will be posting a video very soon of pay per views from after Winter Bomb to the current. So. I'm going to give you a quick update of what's happening. I know you can't see my face because I'm in the car and, you know, it's on the seat at a weird angle. And, and then right now I'm eating a cheeseburger, too. But I'm going to wait because, you know, I cared about you fans. Right. Okay. Okay. First, Revolution. I know you've seen promos for Revolution to be posted and la 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 Well, that's not really happened. So I'm going to give you an update of Revolution first. I don't know why this is randomly popped out. Revolution. Hmm. Let us ponder upon this topic. Gotta get up and off. Oh, now I remember. Gotta go around to the other side as well. Revolution. The main event was Nick Sick against Peter in a street fight. Oh, they weren't fighting on the streets, getting hit by a car, no. It was anything goes. Tables, chairs. Actually, I have one of the weapons over here in the warehouse. It's not a warehouse. Mixic was hit over the head with this. That really hurt. Anywho, it was Mixic against Pater in a street fight. No holds barred. Ma match ended when Pater did a flip over the trampoline net, knocking Mixic unconscious. Where Mixic got to the point where he was outside the ring and got hit with a marker board. After Pater wrote, Pater is the best on the marker board. Marker board hit Nixick on the head out for the count. One, two, three. Pater beat him. But after the match, Nixick didn't have enough. Nix, Nixick was mad he didn't win the match. He would get in the ring and keep beating on Pater. Eventually, he would have Pater dangling over the side of the ring. Nixick would kick him straight in the side of the skull. You know how that's gotta hurt? Nixick's just a bad person. Hostile Revolution. MPK defended his title against the new to be rock star. And APK beat him, even pulling off all his shirts, going, had no shirts on, you know. Weirdo, weirdo, weirdo him. And he won, but then afterwards, Rockstar was mad he didn't win. And turn her back on his fans. Or turn his back on his, you know, you get the picture. And then, and this is not the respect we don't deserve, Connor. Oh, you watch. Anywho, um, then Fear defended his title against Colin for like the, lots and lots of times. Yeah, so he defeated Colin in a long match with like 7,000 choke slams. He, yeah, so Fear beat Colin. Retained the world title, obviously. Um, Gazin had the U.S. title for a while since Victory Road last year. Remember, the Royal Rumble was the death. And in that show, Gazin won the U.S. title. He took him this long because at Revolution, he finally lost it to the newbie rock star. And now we head to the lightning storm. I might be thinking about my burger. Anywho, lightning storm. The new year for Fight Night, because every time there's a lightning storm, it's the new season of Fight Night. Because 10 went 11, October 1st, 2011, was the first ever pay per view. So, like, every October is a new season. Try keeping up with that, folks. Anywho. <laughs> Maybe it's Dynamo trying to come in the garage and attack me. He does that stuff. Anywho, Lightning Storm. Looking at Dynamo. Dynamo ended Fear's World Heavyweight title reign, which he had. Fear held the title before Fight Line 3. Fight Line 3. He won the title. Everyone was happy. Then. That darn Nick 
because it came out and gave him a sickness where his brains came out and Gazin came in and cashed in his money to make you one of them explosion. Gazin cashed in his third briefcase in his career. Third briefcase. Also, MPK defended his title once again against Peter in a match. And Peter earned that opportunity because it was supposed to be Kyler. You know, you know Kyler. That's a different story. He was supposed to defend it against Kyler. And then Peter won the opportunity because he beat Nixick earlier on in an ambulance match. Yes, an ambulance match. Peter beat Nixick in an ambulance match. Nixick just drove off in an ambulance to the hospital. And Peter just beat Nixick for the second time in a row in two pay-per-views. But he won the opportunity and then he didn't get the do. Also, Rockstar and Diamond will have a new middle lines. And also, the final part of that show, Colin lost a match against Peter and said he couldn't win anymore because he couldn't win anymore. So he walked away, leaving the fans depressed. Now we go to the last favorite we're going to talk about, Winter Bomb. Classic favorite. So, one time in the show, Nixie came out and dressed as Peter. Those fools thought it was Peter. He's so clever. Dynamo's gonna be. Speaking of Dynamo again, Dynamo had a match with Nixick for screwing him over the world title at Lightning Storm. Dynamo beat him by like 15 seconds. Don't mess with the beast. MPK defend his title against Rockstar once again. Good job, MPK. Still the champion. Give other people a shot, but you know, you can face the same guy two times in a row, because you know, it's the only person you can beat. How about you give people like, you know, Mexico a chance? But congratulations. But then you have, um, Fear was the, Gazin was the new World Heavyweight Champion. Remember, he won it when he cashed in his briefcase. But Fear's still won at the title shot. And I heard behind the scenes that, but Gazin had to defend his title against Fear. In the first ever fight night, casket match. Fear kicked his butt. Gavin had like 2% offense. Mm hmm. And there also was a triple threat match where it was Rockstar, Dynamo, and then MPK for the United States title, which Rockstar still had. And then Rockstar won, but after the match, they, they tied MPK to a pole? Like, you know, there's like Christmas lights and whatever, cookies and arms and whatever. Either there were beat like candlesticks and baseball bats. Yeah, good times, good times. And then there was the Winter Bomb traditional tag team match. It was Team Dynamo against Team Nixick. Nixick with the Gazin and Dynamo with Rockstar. Dynamo and Rockstar is clean sweeped. You get what I mean? And they won the match. Well, that's the update so far. If you want to see the rest of what's happening from Shell Shock to the current, watch MPK's video. That's it. That's it for now. Nick Six out of here. Well, one thing I forgot to say. Nick Six is the best in the world.